Hi there. Uh, so I've been a big fan of the Samsung Galaxy Note series, and uh, I've had a few uh, over the years, and I thought I'd compare some of them, uh, the S Pens in particular, um, in use, rather than just talking about the specs. Um, so one thing Samsung has done over the years, so uh, the ones I'll be looking at, by the way, this is a Note 3 stylus, Note 4, Note 7. Uh, I don't have the Note 5. Uh, Note 2 and 3 are pretty similar, so I won't go into in terms of the uh, S Pen functioning. So uh, one thing Samsung has done over the years is increase the number of pressure levels that the S Pen is capable of detecting. So the Note 3 has, I think, 1,024. Note 4 went up to 2,048. And then uh, Note 7, which I just recently got uh, when it came out, was uh, 4,096. So, uh, you know, one would think with uh, these newer generations, more levels of pressure sensitivity equals better S Pen functioning. At least in my case, I, I, I actually like the Note 3 stylus the best, and I'll tell you why. In terms of, uh, not in terms of aesthetics, aesthetics and feel, this is the best, the Note 7. But in terms of uh, use, especially for drawing, which is what I like to use the Note series for, at least one of the things I like to do with it, uh, I, I like the Note 3 stylus. So let me... Uh, just quickly show it in use to see what I mean. Let me unlock this thing here. Okay, so this is using the uh, native S Note app. Um, so I'll start with the Note 3 stylus here. Uh, this one is my favorite, and I'll show you why. So this one, uh, by the way, I'm using this brush, calligraphy brush with the uh, I just put it all the way up to 100 just to show you what I mean. So here you can see it's capable of some very nice hairlines. It has a very natural feel, actually. I like the way it responds. And you can do some nice thick strokes you know, with the pressure sensitivity. So there's the Note 3. If I have room here, I'll show you Note 4. It's a little, it's got higher level of pressures 2048 um, you can't quite get the hairlines as well it seems to go from 0 to 60 pretty quickly so to speak uh, you can still get the same fatness that you can with the note 3 stylus but you don't get the same hairlines and uh, so now I'll show you the note 7 one let me erase this uh, if I can uh, I don't want to erase the whole thing though because I want to be able to compare the different S pens. Okay, so there's a little swatch uh, I've removed, a patch I've removed. Um, okay, so now the Note 7 stylus in action. Um, okay, there it is. So this one has 4,096 levels, and it's just, I'm, it's, I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> uh, it's very fat, and you can't get the hairlines that you can with the uh, Note 3. I mean, it just, it gives you thin, or medium, and fat. Those are about the different gradations. Whereas again, Note 3... And it, this has nothing to do, by the way, with the, uh, you know, using it on the Note 7 versus on the Note 4. This is a Note 7 I'm using here, but um, these digitizers can be used interchangeably, uh, or that the stylus can be used interchangeably because the, I think the technology is really the same um, in the phone itself. So, yeah, again, the Note 3, just very, you can get a lot of these hairlines and Note 7, it's, I, I just can't. Um, so if you look at, uh, if you pull up this one diagnostic, you can see another example of how the uh, different S pens re respond. So typing in that code, you can see here uh, on this, it tells you the level of, you know, the pressure sense, um, the, uh, pressure intensity from 0 to 1. 
So you can see here, if you press really lightly, the, the line width doesn't change, but if you just look here, it tells you how strong the pressure is. So if you try to just press it very, very fine, I mean, it pretty much goes from zero to 10% or 15% at the minimum. I can't get it really, can't get those really fine pressures. I mean, it just kind of, yeah, and then just pressing even lightly pretty much goes right to 50%. Then if you press harder, you can get the the higher percentages. But uh, And now here's the Note 3 stylus. And if you look there, you'll notice it. you can get some really fine pressures. Uh, you know, going all the way down to the lowest detectable one. Uh, what is that? That would be a thousandth or tenth of a percent. So that's pretty nice. And then, you know, you can go all the way up to a hundred too. So you get the same uh, dynamic range, but it, it's, it feels smoother in action. So anyway, um, I just thought I would show an example video of these different S pins in action and uh, I, I just don't like how um, Samsung has implemented the increasing levels of uh, pressure sensitivity. It seems like they're not making the best use of the 4096 levels um, when the bottom 15 20 percent pretty much uh, is not recognized. Oh, so you hit back here, and that's how you get out of there. So um, here's one other application I like to use, Layer Paint HD. Uh, so here's uh, just another example. Again, you can get these beautiful hairlines um, with the uh, Note 3 stylus. Note 7, again, it just sort of... Goes from zero to you know, 10 15 percent out the bat. I am trying to press as lightly as possible and I just can't get it. Um, there is a way, at least software wise, that you can adjust this on this program uh, Layer Paint HD. If you go to Others, Settings, Pressure, Pen Pressure Adjustment, you can change the curve. Uh, to make it a little okay so note three stylus you don't really need to go to that level of adjustment but then when you use the note seven stylus on this program now you can start getting the hairlines um, using some software adjustment so perhaps uh, you know, there is a there would be a, a way to do so with the note seven it'd be nice if Samsung allowed users to do that um, you know, through a settings feature uh, rather than within individual apps. But um, so in the end, I, I do like the Note 7 phone itself, and the S Pen feels really nice and has a nice uh, point, um, much finer than the other S Pens. But uh, the pressure sensitivity is just, uh, to me at least, uh, not to my liking. Okay, anyway, hope people found this informative. Thanks.